Today, only two countries, Russia and China, are known to possess missiles capable of reaching U.S. territory. According to the director of the CIA, an attack from Russia or China is highly unlikely. Threat to the United States. We are all familiar with Russian and Chinese capabilities to strike at military and civilian targets throughout the United States. To a large degree, we expect our mutual deterrent and diplomacy to help protect us from this as they have for much of the past century. But there is widespread concern that other potential enemies, like North Korea, Iran, and Iraq, may be on the verge of developing their own long-range missiles. First, the missile threat to the United States from states other than Russia and China is steadily emerging. Just how serious and how urgent this threat might be has been hotly debated on Capitol Hill for the last five years. Between 1995 and 1998, the CIA issued four reports on the emerging missile threat. Each report reached the same conclusion. Apart from Russia and China, no potentially hostile country would have a missile capable of hitting the United States until at least the year 2010. But missile defense supporters in Congress appointed their own panel, known as the Rumsfeld Commission, to assess the missile threat. The commission warned that a country like North Korea could field a long-range missile within just a few years. William Schneider, a former State Department official, was a member of the Rumsfeld Commission. Last year, but ballistic missile defense is the area where, for a variety of reasons, we have not engaged. And as a result, uh, just as, as if uh, uh, electricity were present, uh, the uh, path of least resistance is, has been uh, taken by those for whom it is important to maintain a threat against the United States. The test firing of a three-stage rocket by North Korea in 1998 took the CIA by surprise and seemed to confirm the Rumsfeld Commission's findings. While the missile blew up early in flight, it provided evidence that the North Koreans were moving ahead more quickly than many had thought. This missile demonstrated that despite the economic difficulties and isolation of North Korea, it has made impressive progress in developing a multi-stage ballistic missile capable of flying to intercontinental ranges. By 1999, the CIA had changed its outlook, reporting to Congress that North Korea could field a long-range missile in as little as five years, and that other countries would soon follow. Our cities will face ballistic missile threats from a wider variety of actors, North Korea, possibly Iran, possibly Iraq. And while the missile arsenals of these countries will be fewer in number, constrained to smaller payloads and less reliable than those of the Russians and the Chinese, they will still pose a lethal and less predictable threat. While neither the Rumsfeld Commission nor the CIA made any actual recommendations about a national missile defense system, their bleak reports provided plenty of ammunition to the system's advocates. Indeed, missile defense supporters seemed almost grateful for the bad news. Both of you, I, I want to compliment you for coming straight forward and saying, telling us the truth. I, I have criticized this administration in the past for covering up the threat that's facing us. Uh, and finally, we're getting the truth, and the American people have a wake-up call, and I want to tell you how much I appreciate it.